So we're just bouncing and shake. So just tune into your body. So notice the shoulders first and then the ribs and the hips and legs. And then back to bounce. There we go, very nice. Okay, this one, that's it. So you want your arms in front of the body. And they're just dropping down and dropping up, dropping down and dropping up. That's it. Keep breathing. So you want to use you want to use your legs. if I can get that a bit clearer on the for the video maybe not no okay um, okay we'll split the exercise into two so what you want to do just practice transferring your weight practice transferring the weight so you feel the ground under the feet you want to keep your uh, body lined up that's it. And we're breathing. And we're nice and tall. So float through the head. 
massive, and we're breathing. Great. Relax the shoulders. That's it. Perfect. Right, now this time sink. Now turn away from the weighted leg. So you're, you're, you're turning, you're staying on the, on the leg, but you're turning away from it. Then come back to the middle, then transfer. So if you are on your right leg, you turn to the left corner. If you are on your left leg, you turn to the right corner. Right leg, left corner, left leg, right corner, and we're nice and tall. Through, so the head's floating. The head's floating, the hips are sinking. Great, okay, have a, have a shake out because that's quite hard work on the legs. Right, now what we're doing with the arms is we, we just do the arms on their own. So we raise the arms up and then we just feel the arms drop. One goes in the front, one goes behind. So we raise up, down. One in front, one behind. One, two. One, two. Back 
last week. And then what, what you can do, let's do one arm at a time. So place your hand on your lower down to your end and just feel that arm moving. Feel that arm moving. Right, so we've got some new hand exercises today. Fresh from Tuesday. Um, Ever said these, these ones are good for the brain, so we'll do some of those in a bit. So feel that, feel that arm swing, swing your arm, that's it. So your arm is being swung by the body. Okay. Right, now try that on the other side. So we go like this, swing the arm, that's it. So really let that shoulder go. And then forwards and back. Forwards and back. So feel the arms move. And you use your Use the springs in your legs. So imagine you've got springs in your legs, you've got a spring in your spine, and you've got springy arms as well. That's it. So more, really let go in the shoulders. Just let them really let go. Four, three, two, one, and wobbling. So sink the hips, get that nice circular feeling. So um, I went on, on Tuesday night, we were talking about Dragon Surf's teacups and, and Eva showed it with a plate. She had a plate and was, it was brilliant. There was nothing on the plate, but she likes to practice with plates. So, we'll have a go at that later as well. Okay, four, three, two, one, and shake out. Just tune into your feet, that's it. Uh, oh dear, hang on, I can't see properly. Keep, keep doing that, let's have a look around, that's it. And just, just lift the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, okay. And then just wiggle the toes, wiggle the toes. Oh, that's better, I can see you now. Brilliant. Wiggle the toes, and then just go up, one, two, so stretch the ankles. Three, four, five, six. So you can do that in a chair, perfect. Seven, eight. Right, now uh, lift the toes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then for fun, lift one uh, set of toes and one, ankle, uh, one heel. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and with the arm swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Right, hands. So wiggle the fingers. So this is fresh from Tuesday. So you wiggle the fingers and try and get each individual finger to move. I'll come a bit closer. Yeah, that's it everybody. And then what you do is you go like that. One, two, three, four. And you could just... And then do two taps. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then you can go um, one, three, two, four. 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 Very good. And shake out. And then the other thing she did was she went up and down like that. So we go up and down first. And then we go side to side, or you can do that. Who's that guy? Who's that music? Peter Waitman? Is it? Rick Waitman. Rick Waitman. Yeah, one of my 
our students said he felt like Rick Wakeman, if that helps. <laughs> so do that. We go up and down, up and down, and round and round. Keep the fingers wiggling, and then round and round the other way. It's good, isn't it? Okay, right, then we do silly hand shapes. So you go fist. This is like the uh, Tai Chi equivalent of pe paper, scissors, stone, I think. So fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. Got it? Great. Fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. Fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. Fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw, fist. Open, eagle claw, monkey, uh, monkey paw. Do it again. Fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. And once more with feeling. Fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. Right, so I guess you could work out a paper, scissors, stone version of that, where you'd go, oh, you know, that, that could be quite fun. So, um, yeah, okay, shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three. So that's from Eva. She said it helps work your brain, so that's fine. Eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, good, seven and eight. Other direction, one, beautiful. Three, four, five, six, seven and eight. We have a little shake out and we're, we're breathing and nice and tall. Okay, so we'll do, yeah, we'll do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, 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 four. Five, six, seven, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over and under. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We shake hand. Okay, hands on the hip. Circle. One, two. Three, four, and five. Other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Feet together, knees together. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. Shake out. Bird folds its wings. Open, close. Keep breathing, lovely. Good. Okay, six, seven, and eight. Marvellous. Okay, peg waves its wings. We'll do the double version. So you turn. One arm comes up, and then you bring the other arm up. So we're doing it like this. Just turn around. So, imagine you're a very large, mythological, beautiful, elegant bird. There you are. <laughs> Keep breathing. Even mythological birds need to breathe. Here we go. Fantastic. Okay, try it with one arm. One, two, three, four. 
before. Okay, then let that one go and then try with the other. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Okay, one arm up, one arm points down, make a fist, turn it, stretch over. One, down, up, fist, turn, stretch. Two, and there's a slight bend in the arm. Three, four, five, nice, six, seven, and eight. Great. Okay, have a little shake out. Just tune into your body. So you want to tune into this very quiet, uh, still place and also really own your space. So this very solid connection to the ground and this nice tall feeling. And just imagine you've got lots of room in your body. So all your joints have got lots of lovely room. Okay, we'll do Monkey King takes a seat. So take a slightly wider stance. And then we've got a high throne first, then it gets a bit lower. Now, make sure you can get back up again. So if you just want to have a high throne all the way through, that's fine. You know, you might not want to go all the way. You know, you might not want to show off. Yeah. So we just start like this. We're nice and tall. And then we go like this. We just breathe naturally, and then you come back. Monkey King takes a seat, and then, if you fancy, you can go all the way down into a full squat, but only if you want to, and you can get back up again safely, without, you know, and then you use the, um, use the holding in your feet, so you're sort of gripping a bit with your toes, and then the, the hands, and you want to keep your back long, you want to lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the spine, that's it, and then up, in a very upright stance. Because you're a key. Yeah. We did this loads on Tuesday, but we're going to just do a few. Right. Make it higher. Make it higher each time. And once more. Wonderful. Okay, so that was Monkey King Takes a Seat. Let's have a look at... Uh, polishing the table and then we'll have a look at the dragon so so you're you know nice and tall nice round shape in the hands and then you turn and you're looking nice and tall then you sink the hips back you sweep across with your hands you come back you turn bye see you next week cheerio and then we go round that's it and we come back Brilliant. So how to do housework. Turn, you polish the table. Try it out when you get home and see if it works. Round. Keep breathing. That's very important. You know, even table polishers need to breathe. There we go. And then watch the alignment of your knees with your toes. So there we go. We're nice, tall. We're breathing in, moving from stillness, that's it. Okay, one more time each side, that was amazing. Look at that. Okay, nice and relaxed. So, check your posture, nice and tall. See you next week. And then your, your head is floating, your hips are sinking. And you, yeah, great. Okay, so for fun, Dragon serves teacups. Now, I've been doing it in both directions, just for even more fun. Bless you. So, um, demonstration, I'll demonstrate it facing. I will demonstrate it that way. It's like being in the aeroplane, the exits are 
Yeah, and um, and then yeah, and then you know, and you pull the mask on your face and all that. So, and there we go. One, two. That's what I think. You know, like this. And you don't spill the tea. So what you want to do, you want to get a. If you're practicing it at home, use a paper plate, not your best china. Yeah. I mean, you know. And you, you have a plate. I actually, so she actually did it on Zoom with a plate in each hand. It looked fabulous. And then you turn, you turn, and then you come up. There you go. And then, and then from the side, it's it's very easy. <laughs> and then, not to be outdone, Barry decided to do it in the other direction. So you can go like this: one, two, three, four. Five. And you go one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do it in the normal direction. I'll turn round. I'll turn round. So we'll start this side first. And we'll just do ten of these. And then we'll do ten of these as well. But I'll, I'll, face, I'll face that way. Um, what's easier? If I'm facing that, that way, if I'm facing, or is it better if I'm facing away? Face the wall, okay. Right, there's been a democratic vote. I'm facing that way. Okay, so this side first. And everybody relax. Yeah, if you're doing something complicated, relax even more. And imagine it's the most easiest thing you've ever been asked to do and you're mildly insulted. Okay, here we go. This side first. Ready? Go. One. Two. I remember to breathe. So this is just for, this is for, 
You know, if you're really bored, you might be in the post office in a queue, and it's a massive queue, and you're there for like hours, and you think, oh, I know, I'll practice some Tai Chi. So this is what it looks like. You just go like this. So you can, you can do both at the same time. It's very easy. Brilliant. Okay, shake out. So that was Dragon Serves Teacups. So, uh, yeah, very, very nice. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think of um, another mythological animal is the phoenix turns its head, which is a very good one for the neck. But before that, let's just, let's just warm up a little bit. So we're just going to very gently turn the head. One, two. So we're nice and relaxed. So yeah, when presented with something difficult, relax. That's it. <laughs> so, oh, oh, that's so nice. Okay, now we do semicircles. Semicircles. So there we go. So be nice to your neck. We'll do one more time each side. So you turn, that's it. And other side. Great. And then breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Just do a bit of rooting down, wild goose, and parting the clouds. So I'll be lulling you all into a false sense of security so we can have a look at step back and repulse the monkey. So we're coming down. So you want to feel, I'll show you that from the back. You're lift, raising and sinking the hips. And the, the hips, the hands and the breath are working together. That's it. So you want to tune into this very still, quiet space in the body. So relax the shoulders. You want to keep your shoulders down. So your the elbows going out and the elbows are going in. So you want to keep your shoulders down. Imagine someone's massaging your shoulders. Sink the hips. One more time. That's great. Okay, we're going to change now. We're going to do wild goose flies. Then open the fingers. So you're imagine you're moving through water. So as you go down, you can feel the water going past your hands. 
That's it, that's great. Really good quality of movement from everybody this morning. That's lovely, really nice. Yeah. So if we'd been in the display team, everyone would have been mildly mesmerised by now, you know, going, wow, isn't that relaxing? I feel so relaxed, you know? So. <clears throat> One more time. Part the clouds. So nice and... <coughs> Show that from the side. So you're looking forward with your sleepy tiger eyes. You're listening behind and above. You're paying attention to what you are sensing. Notice what you're notice what you're noticing. So we've got some traffic, those of us in the hall, we've got some traffic outside. Motorbike, isn't it? Motorbike. <clears throat> Notice the conversation you can hear. Notice how your body is feeling. <coughs> so that's your muscular as well as your emotional state. One more time, that's beautiful. Okay, here's one we don't often do, but I quite like. It's called rolling, um, circling palms, circling palms, but actually, oh, hang on, we need a water break, don't we, right, water break, very good, <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot, I'll get told off by Simon if I don't have a water break, have a water break everybody, it's very easy, yeah, Notice when you're drinking your water, do it mindfully. So you've got the cup in your hand. And then notice how what happens when it goes down. Very exciting. I went to a mindfulness course once and we got to eat. We got to eat a grape or a raisin mindfully or something. So I went and... Um, I decided I wanted to practice it, but I practiced it with cake. And I mindfully ate the cake. It was brilliant. It was the best cake I'd ever had. Okay, circling palms. I'll just demonstrate while we're coming back from our water break. So your, your, your hand peels off like this comes up and over so you get a stretch and then it just floats down the front of your body that's it so I'll just do that again so it comes up and over and then floats down the front of the body great let the other arm really let go and we're nice and tall just do another one of these <coughs> Now this time, have a slight turn. So you turn and then come round. There's an even bigger version of this, but we're sticking with this one. We're breathing naturally. Okay, one more this side. There we go. We turn. Fabulous. Okay, I don't, I don't always remember to do this one, but I was at an online class and we did it. And I thought, oh yes, I've forgotten that. So we come up, so the hand peels off. We do it without the turn first. So we're just doing it, the small version. That's it. And we're breathing and we're tall. And then, turn, that's it. Sink the hips. So 
you feeling that turn? One more time. Fantastic. Okay, have a little shake out. Take a slightly wider stance. And we wanna, you want to sink your hips and just tune into the bounce. Tune into your bounce and then transfer the weight and turn. Transfer the weight and turn. Keep breathing. And then gather the arms round into a ball. We'll do the bear. So imagine a great big fluffy panda bear. It's nice, isn't it? So you want a nice round shape in the arms. So if you, if you have a look, this is what the arms look like. And then I, I transfer the weight and I turn. And then circling a ball. Getting the waist working. That's lovely. Look at that. You look amazing. It's great. It just looks very, yeah, really good. We just need the, yeah, I forgot the music. I was uh, stuck on that lovely A10. So, and we're all breathing. That was so nice. We're going to go in the other direction. Right, here we go. Look at that. Fantastic. So keep breathing. Sink the hips. Open the palms of the hands. You want your hands, this nice open feeling in the body. Like you've got lots of room, lots of space. You're breathing. One more circle. That's great. Okay. Right. So um, the two tricky bits in the first half of the 24 step are step back and repulse the monkey and wave hands like clouds. They're the tricky bits. So we're, we'll be focusing on um, step back and repulse the monkey and then we'll focus, we'll, we'll try them out. So I'll just show you. So you start from play the peeper. So you have your left foot in left rooster stance. <laughs> we're like this. I'll just demonstrate first. And then you turn the foot, open the hands. You turn the foot, bring the hand close to the head. You step back and out, and then you transfer the weight back. So it goes one, two, three, four. So for fun, we're gonna try, we're gonna try the footwork. We're gonna try the footwork, and what I'll do is I'll turn that round and face, uh, let's see if this works. Oops. Sorry. Oh dear, they've got, they've got seasick, those people on Zoom. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll come forward. Now start in left rooster stance. So the toes are up. We're not going to worry about the arms. So we're going to turn on the heel, turn on the ball of the foot, and then if that foot needs to come out a bit, so it packs on. We're looking for you. Then we step out and back. Toe, heel. Transfer the weight, knee to the foot up. So it put exactly, so it points to the front. And you want forward. You want the foot in front of the other foot. Right foot in front. Right foot in front, that's it. Then you turn. Turn. Step. Sink. And you're looking forward, and you're in the back leg. Turn, turn. Step out and back, sink, and then we do one more. Turn, turn. Step out and back, sink. So the important thing is this wuchi gap between your heels. You want to tooth is gap between your heels, shoulder width gap between your heels. So when you step back, you need to go out as well as back. 
So if you brought your foot back, you'd be in that stance. If you uh, push just not, if you don't give yourself a big enough base to operate from, then you're having to do tightrope walking, and that's a bit tricky to balance. So this stance, you want a nice show from the side. You want a nice wide base, like a rectangle. One, two. So we'll try that again, come forward, and then we'll, we'll do it just the feet, and then we'll do it with the arms, and then we'll go, uh, yeah. So nice and tall, I'll show you that from the front like that. So left foot, rooster stance, and then you're like this. The fingers are against the wrist, and they're not too far forward, they're not too far back, they're halfway. They're halfway, that's it. turn that the camera sorry those of you on zoom you're getting seasick again right now we're going to do the, the hand movements i've got a it's like the blair witch project for people watching on you know with a shaky cam okay so now what we're going to do is going to go like this so just turn that feel that open Turn that field up open. See? Beautiful. Like you're about to like chuck a, a javelin kind of thing. It's like that sort of feeling. Right. So your other arm doesn't feel left out, we're gonna do the other arm. That's marvellous. So this is working your brain, you see. Yeah. Don't worry if you're doing a variation, it's fine. Just, you know, just own it. Turn. Oh, okay, yeah, directions. 
very important. So you need to be able to just distinguish between front, back, left and right. So the arms are going front and back. So for those of you in the uh, hall, that blue wall and that blue wall over there. So not the curtains or the blue wall with the net on. That one and that one. If I show from the side, forward, back. Forward, back. So that's what you're lining your arms up with. So you sink, you turn, forward and back, and then that's like that. So the arm is, you want to open, oh, open that, open that shoulder. There we go. Can we just, ah. Oh. Right, well, we'll, be, we'll be having to stop soon. So it just, and as you, you sink, you sink. And it's very similar. If you go back to this exercise, one, two, three, and four. Try it again now. There you go. That is much better, everybody. Yeah. Soft, smooth, and slow. So, for fun, let's just give that a quick go, and then we better stop. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. And um, sorry, those of you on Zoom, I've turned you round again. Great. Okay. I will go over there. Go over there. Nice and tall. Relax your. Um, just allow your, your body to sink down. Hang on. That's really wonky. Sorry, those of you on Zoom. I didn't put it on tightly enough. They're getting really. They're getting all seasick. Okay, so just go back to that one. So we won't do any more than that move. We'll get it and it will be absolutely brilliant. And then we've got wave hands like clouds. And then we'll go back to the beginning. We'll be able to do that whole section. It'll be really, really good. Really good. Okay, nice and tall. Relax your knees. Okay, just breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then embrace the tiger return to the mountain. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And one more time. So next week... Those of you on Zoom, there isn't a class I'm doing my first aid at work training. Those of you that aren't on Zoom, I think there'll be a nice class of something going on. I'm not sure who's teaching it, but Jeremy's on the case. And someone will do something very nice and relaxing that works balanced. I said it needs to work balanced. So um, whatever it is, it'll be great. So uh, rub the hands together. And polish the face. 
So you've got a week to practice all this stuff. And this will be on the YouTube channel. Rub my hands together and give the lower back a rub. Oh, oh that's so nice. And then, um, here we go, we breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. So really own your space. Feel nice and tall and relaxed. I thought you did brilliant today. Really good, because it's quite complicated, you know. We, we managed, so it's not bad. Okay. Make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and bow. Brilliant. Well done. I'll just, uh, well done everyone, I'll stop the video.